Hello and welcome to another edition of PSVR News. This one is a bit of a breaking news situation. It's not officially confirmed. It's something that has been found out doing a little bit of investigative reporting from uh, my agents in the field, as it were. Uh, as such, I don't have much time to get it out there. I'm kind of stuck for time, so this is a bit more of a rushed. Uh, it doesn't have the usual PSVR News polish that you all have come to love, I'm sure. Uh, basically... This is about Pavlov VR and how it was initially supposed to be a launch day title and how I now believe that that could, not is, not deafness, but could have been pushed back. Now, still probably in the launch window, it's still been advertised as a launch window title. That hasn't changed, but it may not be a day one title as of now, I should say. So the evidence for this is actually, if you look at anywhere uh, that discusses Pavlov. If you look for the release date, you won't find it anywhere. It's not in the PlayStation Store yet. So you can't even wishlist it. If you go to the PlayStation blog where it was revealed in the first place, you will see that they never actually talk about it coming out on a specific date. But the reason I knew that it was February 22nd is because I could remember checking the description in this video that I have here in the background. This is the official PlayStation channel where they have the announcement trailer for Pavlov VR, and in the description it said coming March 22nd. Now if you go and look at that now, it says Pavlov coming very soon to PSVR 2. So I believe it's been changed, or I believed it was changed earlier on today when I was asked, is this actually a day one game because there's no evidence of this anywhere. So I thought I was going a little bit crazy that I had imagined that I had seen that February 22nd day and that I didn't actually see it. Uh, but thanks to some investigating from Tradition, who you may know from the chats, from the community, he found this video from this channel, which is Carson J. Kelly. And apparently they, well, we can check the channel, I guess. They basically copy all the PlayStation uploads. They copy loads of content. Uh, basically, you see all these trailers. They take them from the PlayStation channel. They upload them to their own channel. And the vital part of this is that they include the original description. So you can see here, Pavlov launches on February 22nd, 2022. That is the original description. That's what was there. He also provided further proof in the Discord group. He posted this video. I'll try and full screen it. Where you search for Pavlov February 22nd, 2022, you get these links, NeoGAF, Twitter, all these places and he will highlight he will highlight the important part you can see here in the description on google it says like it pulls from the original description that pavlov launches on february 22nd 2023 but then when he actually clicks on us he scrolls up a bit you can see it's been changed to very soon coming very soon no longer 22nd and so there you have us there is no actual confirmation there, but if you're putting one on one together, you might see that, you know, a delay could be on the cards. Um, but it's still being advertised as a launch title window, which means it should be within one month after launch, unless that changes. That could change too. We could get an update next week or in two weeks saying, listen, we have to push back Pavlov. And of course, that would be a shame because Pavlov is the only first person, you know, multiplayer shooter that would be there day one. But yeah, once again, thank you to Tradition for doing the digging on that one and helping me find the truth. And with that, we get... Hold on a sec. Jordan Peterson here, and I just couldn't sit back listening to that awful news. Or potential news, I should say. Maybe Pavlov has been delayed. And I just have to say that we should not lose our belief in Pavlov. We should give it the time it needs to be the game that it wants to be. <laughs> if we have to wait, if we have to bear that punishment, then we should do it. You're bloody right, we should. Thank you very much for that, JP. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that usual YouTube and shice if you want to support PSVR News. And with that, I will end this edition. Thank you very much for watching. Washing. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.